one of the most important things that I found out is people are wagering on this, okay? And for wagering, that means gambling. And with the Reverend here, I don't want to see any gambling, okay? But this is the 2015 Day of the Docks Seafood Throwdown. Now I've tried to get Jeffrey's Seafood to tell me what the secret ingredient was. I've sent women, I've sent money, I even tickled him the other day and he wouldn't tell me. All right y'all, we're glad you're here. This is one of my favorite events of the year. But right now I'm going to introduce our chefs. This is Eduardo Chavez. He has Eduardo's taco truck on Overton Island. Come on! And now, this is a very special time for us because this is our first female chef competitor. Let's welcome Kayla Rawl! Right, give it up. The best part of the day is going to be the expressions on their face when they see what comes out of that box. I have a product here, mysterious indeed. It's Swallows and Coffeeus. Very good. It is a shark. And what it is, is a spiny dogfish. It's not a pretty fish. It's beautiful. Go! But there's some beautiful meat on these fish. And the beautiful part is that there are no little bones. Sometimes when people eat fish, they're a little intimidated by the bones. So when you're dealing with the uh, spiny dogfish, or what has re been rebranded as the cake shark, you're going to find a lot of good, clean, boneless meat. Tortilla press going over here. We've got a lot of vegetables that we can tell something fabulous is going to happen. Everything's going. All the fires are on. Make sure you're on today, okay? And no wagering, remember that. No betting, no wagering on any of this stuff. I already lost. We just needed to announce that we got 40 minutes left. So 40 minutes left on the clock. These guys are working at mock speed. Okay, it's one thing to talk about sustainability and sustaining our oceans. If we can't support the people who catch the fish, we don't have a viable industry. 90% of the seafood eaten in the United States is imported. We can sell the fish from the docks to the guys in the restaurant. Anybody that wants to start that business on the Outer Banks, let's talk about it. Hey, Eduardo, is this a better kitchen than you have in your truck? Yes. <laughs> Or something, or asbestos. Pretty amazing. These guys come from the Mad Crabber there in Avon. The Mad Crabber. The Mad Crabber really has a different atmosphere. These guys are pros, they're expert cooks, they work fast. Now we're going to go over here to the competitors. This is like MMA. I was going to let them fight. Out here, and, but they said they'd rather cook. Uh, Taylor said she was a lot bigger than Eduardo. It wouldn't really be fair. Just come back to take it. All right, ten minutes. Ten minutes. Eduardo is our first food truck operator to compete as well. So You can substitute a little wine, a little stock, a little water, a little juice. Usually whatever the chef has in the refrigerator, you kind of want to help develop the menu. program 
am at Cape Hatter Secondary School, and the goal is to um, promote a sustainable lifestyle, to use as many locally sourced products as we can, uh, especially fish. Talk about getting local seafood into our local schools so our kids can have nutritious meals.